the charge you are facing is a charge of aggravated cruelty to animals. How do you plead to that charge, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Mr. Johnson, you think your client understands the nature of this charge against him? I do, Your Honor. Are you in agreement with his entering this plea today? Yes, Your Honor. Have you discussed with Mr. Van Pelt his appellate rights in this matter? I have, Your Honor. And I believe Ms. Swartz is our assistant DA on this matter. Good morning, Ms. Swartz. If you could please give us the statement of facts, tell us the range of punishment and what the state recommends on this charge, please. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Good morning. Um, Your Honor, the offense of aggravated cruelty to animals in Georgia carries a sentencing range of one to five years. The recommendation in this case is three years to serve in prison, followed by two years on probation, or five serve three. The defendant has been in custody since February 5th of 2022, and we would assume that um, through the affidavit of, of the sheriff that he would get uh, credit against the sentence for that uh, time that he has already served. There are a number of special conditions that were very closely negotiated here, Your Honor, and they're listed um, in the written plea agreement that I know you have in front of you. I disagree with Mr. Van Pelt, and I felt as if or I had hoped that as if um, Anthony Johnson, as his attorney, wanted a lighter sentence. And one of the things that me and Mr. Van Pelt had discussed is some of the avenues, whether that be through the non-negotiated and and doing a PSI and, and all of these things that we have that are available to us in the court. And Mr. Van Pelt stated that no, um, that is not the route that he wanted to take. Um, he did not want to put um, Mrs. Van Pelt through that. He didn't want to put any members of his family. He didn't want to um, have the district attorney's office as well as judiciary or probation um, do that. He wanted to take full accountability of his actions. And I think that that speaks volumes of when you have an individual who is going against his own attorney's recommendation for a harsher punishment. And so I, I would hope that the court uh, would adopt the recommendation that has been negotiated um, by both parties, Your Honor. And, and also, I would hope that the court would accept this under first offender because he is, in fact, eligible. On the count of aggravated cruelty to animals, I sentenced the defendant to three years to serve in prison, followed by two years on probation with credit for time served. I'm adopting in full all of the special conditions that Ms. Swartz has read into the record, and which is also on the plea agreement and has been signed by the defendant, the defendant's counsel, and by Ms. Swartz. Specifically, though, just let me reemphasize a few of those $1,000 fine. 100 hours of community service, the restitution of $761.92 to Ms. Van Pelt for those bills. I'm not allowing the first offender status in this particular case based on the record made in this case. A Fourth Amendment waiver is also part of the sentence. In that regard, Mr. Van Pelt, do you agree that a special condition of probation will be that you will submit to a search of your person or property any time, day or night, with or without your consent or a search warrant? whenever asked to do so by a probation officer or a law enforcement officer. And if anything is taken, it can be used as evidence against you. You understand and agree to that, Mr. Van Pelt? Yes, sir. All right. I believe that concludes this matter. Anything further from you, Ms. Swartz? No, Your Honor, thank you. Mr. Johnson, from you? Nothing further, Your Honor. Good to see both of you. Thank you for your work on this case.